Oh, I just love these Ugg boots so much. <laughs> hey there, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing some Vanilla Girl inspired outfits. If you're not familiar what the Vanilla Girl aesthetic is, it's basically like very cozy. I mean, think like vanilla scents, like vanilla scented candles, vanilla perfume, I mean baking. Like it's just the cozy vibes, but it's quite simple, quite casual. <laughs> so yeah, I just have a couple outfits picked out. This first outfit it is pretty much as basic vanilla girl as you can get so of course I'm wearing a white sweater I mean that's kind of classic something like a cable knit sweater would also look really really nice but I like this sweater so much because I just feel like the cut of it and the fit is just so flattering. We've got, of course, straight leg jeans. I like to go with light wash jeans. I think it just kind of goes a bit nicer. And then, of course, we've got the Ugg platform boots. Mine are just the mini, not the ultra mini. I kind of like the slightly higher boot, personally. So to spice up this outfit, you can always add a scarf, especially if it's starting to get a little bit chilly. I love this one because it's got like all of the beautiful neutral colors but it adds in a few extra colors to make the outfit a little bit more fun. Another thing that I always do to spice up my outfits is accessorize with jewelry, of course. So today I have this necklace, I have these two bracelets, and some earrings, and they're all from Ana Luisa. If you've seen some of my videos about my ear piercings, they've sponsored those videos. But today they asked me to do an honest review on the quality of the jewelry and how it's held up. So right now I'm wearing some of my oldest pieces. I've had these for almost two years now, I think. I have some newer pieces as well, but I just want to share the older pieces and how they're holding up. The necklace is pretty much in perfect condition, but with the necklace, I do not shower in it and I do not sleep in it. And same thing for the bracelets, but I have worn them a lot and they still look perfectly new and shiny. So the earrings though, a lot of times do not take off. The ones that I keep in my ears, I pretty much, except for the statement pieces, I'm wearing them all the time in the shower to to bed for months and months at a time. I've had them in my cartilage, like this one I keep in my conch and it has not irritated my ears at all. I've had these studs for a very long time. This is what they're looking like. You can see that the post, I don't know if it was gold originally, but right now the post is silver. So I don't know if like the gold coating came off. I also love these very, very simple huggy hoops. They pretty much go with any outfit. So in terms of the quality of this one, I kind of feel like the gold has started to fade a little bit and it's starting to look a little bit more silver especially in certain lighting it's not quite as yellow anymore and then the post has sort of tarnished a little bit i don't know if that's the right word of what's happening here but as you can see it does look a little bit dark and gray the good news is that that only happened on the post so you can't see that when i'm just wearing my earrings and the other good news is that it hasn't irritated my ears so far and usually with like cheap jewelry the earrings always start to irritate me once they start to tarnish i did sadly lose one of those hoop earrings totally my fault though some of the jewelry is made out of different materials so probably that that's why some of them have tarnished a little bit or changed color and some of them haven't. I also have these slightly bigger huggy hoops. They came with a little charm. Once again, it doesn't really seem like anything has tarnished or rubbed off. It is still looking pretty much brand new. Maybe just a little bit dirty. <laughs> yeah, so those are kind of the pieces that I've worn the most so far. Overall, I'm very happy with the quality. They did kindly give me a discount code for you guys, even though this is my complete honest experience. So you can get 20% off using my code, or you can click the link in the description to check it out. All right, so like I was saying, accessories are so important to an outfit. And simple gold jewelry is a really, really nice way to accessorize with the Vanilla Girl aesthetic because you want your outfits to be simple and cozy and elegant, but you do not want them to be boring. So gold or silver, whatever, doesn't matter. It's all up to your preference. Now, if it's already getting cold where you live, then I would definitely pair this outfit with a nice puffer jacket. Once again, in a cream or a white color, this particular one is sort of a corduroy material. It's from Hollister. So warm, so fluffy, very, very large, um, <laughs> but cozy. And I think it fits the Vanilla Girl aesthetic super, super nice. I feel like there are just limitless possibilities with the accessories. I mean, you can go with a little hat. Might be a little too early for hats, but <laughs> you can always go with a hat 
or my favorite is ear muffs because my ears get so so cold and they start to hurt it goes with that vanilla girl aesthetic so so nicely this is just another variation of the same outfit just swap out the sweater this one's so cute from hollister hollister's sweater game right now is on point so so many cute options there for like the vanilla girl wintry vibe this one in particular is so so soft and i do like to tuck the sweaters in sometimes but you know other times just like let them hang loose and kind of a little bit more casual and comfy vibes <laughs> this one kind of feels a little bit more wintry to me because of the pattern but it's not too early to start prepping because halloween is so soon Actually, by the time I'm posting this video, Halloween might be over. So it's definitely time to start thinking about Christmassy vibes, I guess. <laughs> and one more sweater that I want to share with you, just kind of a more preppy looking half zip type of sweatshirt. This one's from Target. It kind of gives a bit more of a prep school, maybe a little bit old money cozy aesthetic, if that makes any sense. But it is just nice and casual as well. This outfit is so cute and so simple and so freaking cozy. I mean, come on, you guys. I feel like I just need to be sitting in front of a fireplace right now drinking like some tea. Once again, we've got the Ugg boots. I mean, Ugg boots are pretty much an essential for cozy fall looks, especially these ones. Like, I just love the platforms. I mean, I can't wear anything without platforms these days. Anyway, we've got this oversized sweatshirt. So this is actually a men's extra large sweatshirt from Cotton On. I just got it, so they definitely still have it. They also have other colors like black. This time we've got some cute little socks with the Ugg boots, like nice slouchy socks. You can find these pretty much anywhere these days, although these particular ones that I have are from a couple years ago. And once again, a scarf. Or you can obviously go without the scarf if you want. For layering, if it's already a little bit cold where you live for layering, I would recommend some fleece lined tights. There's a bunch of them on Amazon and Shein. And I would definitely recommend wearing shorts underneath this sweatshirt dress because it is pretty short and if you move your hands up, you're going to be exposed, so just better to be safe and extra warmth, of course. As for a jacket, you do want to make sure your jacket is oversized as well, because otherwise it's just not going to fit. <laughs> I personally love the way this denim jacket looks over top of it. It adds a nice pop of color and some fun textures, but of course you can go with a lighter denim jacket, or you can go with an oversized jacket like this one if you want to keep it a little bit more neutral. This one definitely looks super autumnal because of the check. Alright, so this next one is way more casual. Sweatpants, a nice long sleeve, and these Ugg slippers, except these are actually not Uggs, they're dupes from Deer Foams. I got them off of Amazon. They are just so cute. <laughs> um, but yeah, this outfit is definitely very, very casual and chill, but it still gives me that vanilla girl vibe. I like this cardigan so much. It's just so, so cute. I mean, it's kind of, kind of starting to trickle into like a ballet core kind of vibe. But I think that the accessories are what really make a vanilla girl outfit. Yeah, it's definitely very, very autumnal because of the checkered skirt. I think this skirt is so cute. I mean, I've worn this skirt for quite a few years now and I do really like it. I feel like it's just kind of my type of fall, if that makes sense. With my Ugg boots this time around, I'm folding over the socks once again because I don't have any leg warmers, but I feel like in a situation like this, leg warmers would look so, so cute. And then I also have these little half glove situations, which are so cute. And they're going to keep you warm, but your fingers are going to be exposed so that you could still text, you could still do stuff. These types of gloves are definitely not appropriate for the winter, so this is the perfect time to wear them. All right, guys. I mean, this outfit is not the warmest for sure so maybe this is more like for lounging around or I would swap out the shorts for like sweatpants or something but I really just love the oh my god the arm warmers they look so cute and warm and cozy and I think that is 
a really nice accessory to add for like that cozy vanilla look. The shorts are also so so cute because they kind of have a knit print as well and then in this case I'm once again wearing the Ugg dupe slippers. So cute! This next outfit it's a little bit less casual, a bit more chic because of the skirt but I think it's still very cute and cozy because we have this cardigan. I think it's so cute and then I am wearing these booties. But yeah, I thought I'd add the socks just to make it a little bit more cozy and cute. But, you know, you could totally wear it without the socks and it would probably just look a little bit more polished. This cardigan is so nice. I think it looks really good with a pair of straight leg jeans or even leggings. You can wear it buttoned up like this, or you can wear it unbuttoned like this. Once again, for extra warmth, I would do fleece line tights. It's looking super cute! <laughs> this is another foolproof outfit. I mean, it's so easy, so casual, and so cute. Instead of doing like a sweater and jeans, you can always go with a tight top. And then if you want an extra layer, you can add it on a cardigan. And the really nice thing about an outfit like this is that it is just so customizable because you can just swap out your cardigan or your layer all the time. So it's kind of like a capsule wardrobe thing. This particular little cardigan, it's like a mini shrug. But yeah, for example, I also can wear this with this brown cardigan, which is also so so cute and I think it kind of goes with the Uggs nice since it's a little bit of a darker color. Or I've got this cardigan which is nice comfy. It's just another off-white color but this time it's kind of longer so it'll keep you a little bit warmer. Or you can even pair it with this cardigan that I showed before. I mean it's just really endless combinations and I really do think that straight leg jeans kind of go with the aesthetic a little bit more than skirts because the vanilla girl aesthetic is a little bit more casual and the skirts tend to look a little bit more girly, a little bit more chic. So yeah, what do you think? <laughs> I think this one is actually one of my faves. I feel like this one strays a little bit from the vanilla girl aesthetic but it is just so cute and it still is in that light colored neutral vibe. So I wanted to mention it. It's like a shirt dress. It's a little bit short, so I would probably wear some shorts underneath or maybe even leggings if you'd like or tights. But yeah, this is super cute. And usually I would pair this outfit with some combat boots for a slightly edgier look. But I think in this situation, this just looks so, so cute. I don't know, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of the Vanilla Girl aesthetic? I mean, I know that some of these outfits aren't exactly Vanilla Girl aesthetic, but I do personally love to wear lighter and neutral colors in the fall. I will see you in my next video. Bye!